So you don't think a 50 year old man would be interested in her? Why? Because she needs that. She needs the attention. She needs someone who's going to look at her like she is the prize trophy. So Marcus Jordan, son of basketball legend Michael Jordan and Larsa Pippen, ex-wife of former NBA star Scottie Pippen, have been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. Well, Marcus recently dropped a bombshell accusation claiming that Larsa was only interested in his money. Yep. He's calling her a gold digger. Now, that's the kind of tea that's too hot to ignore. We actually met at a party four years ago, and I feel like a lot of people want to like spin things like, oh, they've known each other their whole life. And I'm like, by the way, we did not. I just <laughs> met him four years ago. You know, when, when his dad and Scotty played together, like his, they were like not together. His mom and dad were not together. I was in college. Like they, we missed each other. You know, mm -hmm. we missed that little era. So it's like we were friends. We met four years ago. We, we were friends. We have mutual friends. So we were like in the same group like a lot. And it's funny because I was trying to set him up with all my friends. Uh Rumors started swirling about trouble in paradise between these two lovebirds. Insiders spilled the tea that things were seriously messy behind the scenes. Marcus dropped some bombshells about Larsa's true intentions. According to Marcus, their relationship hit a rough patch and it wasn't just a regular lover's fight. No, Marcus went public with some shocking claims. He said Larsa was only interested in him for his family's money. Well, that's a major betrayal. Marcus didn't hold back, accusing Larsa of making him spend tons of cash on her during their two-year relationship. That's a serious accusation that's gonna cause some drama. But wait, Marcus didn't stop at calling Larsa a gold digger. He took their drama to social media, airing all their dirty laundry. Shots were fired left and right on their Instagram feeds. It was a full-on war of words and fans were eating up every scandalous detail. Now, you might be wondering why Marcus waited until after the breakup to spill the tea. Well, it seems like he finally had enough. He felt betrayed by Lars's alleged ulterior motives, and he wasn't gonna let her get away with it. So he took to social media to expose Larsa for who he believed she really was a gold digger. But what about Larsa's side of the story? Did she defend herself? You bet she did. Larsa fired back, denying Marcus's claims and playing the victim. According to her, their breakup was simply because Marcus wasn't mature enough or financially stable. She said she needed someone who could keep up with her ambitious lifestyle, and Marcus just didn't fit the bill. At the time, you said you guys were just friends, and then it was revealed when you said on Valentine's Day that he was your forever Valentine. Are you guys in love? Um, I think so. We're, we're in a really good place. From the starting onwards, Marcus and Larsa's relationship has been nothing short of a whirlwind. One minute they're hot and heavy, the next they're ice cold. So what exactly went down between them? Well, it all started with rumors of trouble in paradise. Insiders reported that things were getting hella messy behind the scenes with Marcus dropping bombshell accusations about Larsa's motives for being in the relationship. Yep, we're talking accusations of gold digging and betrayal, the kind of drama that's sure to leave a bitter taste in anyone's mouth. But just when we thought it was over, Marcus and Larsa decided to give love another shot. They reconciled and even spent Valentine's Day together talk about a romantic gesture. But alas, it wasn't meant to last. Before we knew it, rumors started swirling once again about trouble in paradise. Larsa confirmed the rumors herself when she started throwing shade at Marcus on social media, like with that shady poll on Instagram asking if it was okay to ask her friends to unfollow her ex. Yep, things were definitely heating up and not in a good way. So what led to this roller coaster of a relationship? Well, let's speculate for a moment. Perhaps Larsa's reasons for reconciling and then breaking up again had to do with her own personal motives. Some speculate that Larsa may have been driven by a desire for attention or validation, using her relationship with Marcus as a way to stay relevant in the public eye. Others suggest that Larsa may have been motivated by financial gains, seeking out Marcus's family fortune as a means to secure her own financial stability. But what about Marcus? How does he fit into this messy equation? Well, it's clear that Marcus has been caught in the middle of all the drama, struggling to make sense of his feelings for Larsa amidst the chaos. Despite his attempts to downplay his father's disapproval and salvage his relationship with Larsa, it seems that Marcus may have finally reached his breaking point. With accusations flying left and right and tensions running high, it's no wonder Marcus is feeling torn up about the whole thing. Uh, she is 48. Exactly. And he is 16, 16 years old yeah. right now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm does... joking. No, he's 31 years old. I'm joking. That yeah. makes sense. She is 48 and he is 31. That makes sense. 17 year difference. That makes sense. What 48 year old man, wealthy, got money, 
So here's the deal, Larsa Pippen used to be married to Scottie Pippen, a former NBA star who happened to be Michael Jordan's teammate during their Chicago Bulls days in the 90s. And yes, we're talking about the same Michael Jordan who is Marcus's dad. So what does all of this mean? Well, it means that Larsa already knew Marcus's family way before they got involved romantically. Now, let's talk about the awkwardness factor. Imagine this Larsa, a grown woman in her 20s, knew Marcus when he was just a little kid. Yep, you heard that right. Larsa had known Marcus since he was a child because of her marriage to Scottie Pippen and their connections with Michael Jordan. That's enough to make you raise an eyebrow, don't you think? Some people couldn't help but feel a bit weird about Larsa being in a romantic relationship with someone she knew since he was a child. It's the kind of situation that makes you scratch your head and wonder how they ended up together. But wait, there's more. Let's not forget about the dynamics between Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. While they were teammates on the basketball court, they weren't exactly best friends off the court. In fact, there were rumors of tension and conflict between the two, which only adds another layer of complexity to Lars's relationship with Marcus. It's the kind of messy drama that you'd expect to see in a movie, but unfortunately, it's all too real. You used to go to the games and cheer for your husband, Scottie Pippen, alongside Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan and his family would come to the game and the kids would show up, and there was little Marcus Jordan, a teenager at the time, while you were a grown-ass woman, while your husband, Scottie Pippen, was collecting championships. And now fast forward, you are so cloud-hungry and headline-hungry and just hungry for the lack of a better term and so toxic you're dating michael jordan's son who is 16 years younger than you when rumors started flying about the pair being together larsa was super secretive about it she went to great lengths to deny any romantic involvement with marcus even though there was evidence suggesting otherwise People couldn't help but wonder why Larsa was being so quiet about her relationship with Marcus. Was she trying to avoid drama? Or maybe there was more to the story than we knew. One of the big things that got people talking was Larsa's claims about when she first met Marcus. She said they only met three years ago and didn't know each other or his family before that, but a lot of people didn't buy it. Larsa has connections to Marcus's family through her ex-husband Scottie Pippen, so it seemed unlikely that she had just recently met Marcus. People thought Larsa might be downplaying their previous acquaintance to avoid backlash. But Larsa didn't stop there. She kept denying the relationship, even when there were pictures of her and Marcus kissing. Those photos made it pretty clear that Larsa and Marcus were more than just friends. It seemed like Larsa was trying to keep their relationship a secret for some unknown reason. Maybe she was trying to protect her reputation, or maybe there was something else going on. I think when you're dating publicly where you're just like hanging out and it's not, you know, serious or anything, I think it's hard because you're like still trying to figure out what it is. And then like all this stuff is being said that, oh, you guys are like hiding and you're lying and all this stuff. And really, we were just hanging out as friends. Yeah. We, we had just started hanging out as friends. So I feel like that's kind of what was the motivational thing for us. It was like, okay, fine. Like now we're dating. So now yeah. should we tell everyone? Well, we spent some time together during the holidays. Where she yeah. came and visited some of my family. I visited some of her family. So I think that's kind of what, once we realized our families were okay with it, then I feel like that was easier for us. Larsa always so what's the deal with Marcus supposedly spoiling Larsa with expensive presents and indulging her every desire? Well, insiders say that Marcus didn't hold back when it came to showering Larsa with fancy gifts and treating her like a queen. From fancy clothes to luxurious vacations, Marcus went all out to keep Larsa happy. But here's the twist some people think that Larsa might have been more interested in Marcus's money than actually caring for him. Yep, you heard it right. Rumor has it that Larsa might have been using Marcus to fund her lavish lifestyle without truly loving him. But let's talk about Larsa's behavior towards Marcus's wealth. Well, let's just say she wasn't exactly subtle about it. Sources say that Larsa had no problem flaunting her extravagant lifestyle on social media, showing off her designer clothes, fancy trips, and flashy jewelry for everyone to see. Some even think that Larsa was being opportunistic, only interested in Marcus's bank account rather than his heart. It's the kind of behavior that makes us question Larsa's true intentions. But here's the thing, Marcus isn't completely innocent in all of this. Despite initially ignoring Lars's behavior, it seems like he's finally starting to see the truth about their relationship. So what are your thoughts on Marcus and Lars's relationship? Do you believe Marcus's accusations are genuine or do you think there's more to the story? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.